I just want to ask you though. I've I've, I've lived in Chicago my whole life. My neighbors, they're they're Palestinians. They're Palestinian Americans who are living in Chicago, and just I'm I'm very concerned about what's happening in Palestine. I agree. And I, I I I didn't go see Netanyahu. We're calling for the ceasefire, and, yes. and between you and me, the, the, the people know it. A lot of the members are uh, it's just nuance of how they do this because we're appropriated. Yeah, how you condition aid. Okay. The nuance is important. And a lot of very sophisticated people are working on it. Okay. Um, but the billions of dollars. To actually get it done, that process is nuanced. Yeah, and I understand that too, but with. I mean, you want it to pass. I do, but I, I also know it's been 75 years. It didn't just start on October 7th. I agree. But right now, if you want it to happen, this is how it happens. And, and what do you mean? Do you mean that we have to... We actually have to prepare something that will pass that does that. Do you think that advocating and calling out for for an end of the genocide, an end of the ethnic cleansing, an end to the... It changes nobody's mind in D.C. and that's all that matters. What you need to do is condition aid so it doesn't happen. But people are getting murdered here because of the Islamophobia and, uh, and that's, and that's well, because of the rhetoric and because okay. we're not... I'm, I'm going to do your best to... Mike Wigley is in Wrigley Field having brunch right now. He is our congressional representative for Illinois District 5. He, a few years ago, we realized that he was taking a lot of money from companies like Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Northrop Grumman, and Raytheon. Those are the top four weapons companies in the United States. And Mike Quigley takes thousands of dollars from them, and we asked Mike Quigley, a huge group of his constituents said, hey, Mike, can we meet and talk about all the money that you're taking from these weapons companies that make bombs that drop on children in Gaza and Yemen? And he refused repeatedly for months to meet with us. But who are the demands he's listening to? It's the weapons companies, because routinely, every single year, in about a month or so, Congress is going to vote on the annual defense budget that is up to one trillion dollars this year. We are struggling with being able to feed our people in Illinois when people don't have access to housing, when so many people after COVID got kicked off of their medical insurance. During a pandemic, what did Mike Quigley do? He voted to give more money to the Pentagon. And why did he do that? He did that because 50% of the trillion dollars that goes to the defense budget goes directly to the companies he takes money from for his campaign. <laughs> and what people in Gaza who have just lost their families, sometimes their entire family, sometimes children who have lost their parents and all their siblings, are sifting through the rubble and what do they find? Shards of metal of the bombs that killed their family that they made in the USA. So Mike Quigley is one of the largest Palestinian constituencies out of 